Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zaid here with another episode of Say's Experience. So today we're gonna be talking about how the 30 days of fasting challenge has been going, how I've hit a couple of plateaus and what my gains have been or what my losses in this case have been. So come with me and let's check these out. So obviously the fat loss has started to plateau as of this week so the past two weeks the first week i lost 10 pounds in the first week and then on the second week i managed to only lose like about 2.5 pounds three-ish depending on whatever time of the day so this week i decided to take a little bit more of an aggressive stance so i decided to go for a fast of 48 hours that's right 48 hours and then this happened Wow guys, so that's an amazing amount of weight that's come off since I started doing this 48 hour fast. But I think I'm gonna take it over to 72 hours. Uh, I think I'm feeling good. Um, my hunger hasn't kicked in at all. If anything, uh, the only thing is those little mood swings have been happening a little bit more. But I have been supplementing with a little bit more sodium, potassium and magnesium and I think that's been helping out greatly. So I'm gonna keep on doing that. But right now, I don't wanna show you the results um, but because one, it's not even 48 hours. So far it's 40-ish hours, it's like 40, 45 hours. So it's not even 48 all the way. And this is halfway through the day. So right now it's about two o'clock and even though I'm completely empty, I do have water in my system, so that's not even the super accurate way. So I'll be weighing myself tomorrow in the morning and I'll see how everything looks without any water because during the nighttime, a lot of, quite a bit of water gets expelled and so the weight is probably gonna be, I think it's honestly gonna, honestly gonna reach the 79 mark, 179 pounds. Right now we were at 182. So hopefully we get down to that level. I haven't been at this weight since I was probably I don't think I've ever been at this weight to be honest. I probably went through that weight at one point, but I was probably like 12, which isn't good at all. But yeah, I was a, I was a very, very chubby kid, guys. I was obese. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Some good results, right? So today is Wednesday and I'm well onto my 72nd hour into this fast. So yes, I have not eaten anything for three days, guys. And I'm lucky to report that this is the weight. Today was a super special for me um, because I haven't been able to break the 180 mark uh, ever since I can remember. I think I ever in like in my all my adult life I don't remember being below 200 and then a little bit later in the years 196 and then at one point I got to 186 which was the lowest I've ever been at and finally I broke that 180 and today I finally got into the 179 mark so uh, I did the three day fast I knew it got a little bit more aggressive with three days but finally I was able to bring it down to 179 so for me that's a massive accomplish I still don't like how I look but it is definitely a start. And again, I'm not doing any exercise. That's the insane part. I know for many people it might sound like, well, you could be doing this, this or that. No, I cannot, trust me. Not with, you don't wanna mess around with legal issues at all, trust me. So I am super stoked, you know, it's just really revealing in so many ways. I'm, I'm really, really happy today, guys. I don't think this camera is gonna be able to express that at all, but I am super, super happy. As far as fasting for three days, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I've done a 24 hour fast and a 48 hour fast before, and those weren't really hard, but the first time I ever did a 48 hour fast, my kidneys kind of started hurting, and that's why I had to cut it short. But this time around, what ended up happening was my first day was a little bit terrible, and then after that, the, uh, like after the first 24 hours, super easy it was just a breeze to get through everything and up until the third day which was a 72 hour mark i was gonna decide not to cut it but um, my kidney started to hurt in the back a little bit again so i took that as a signal that you know i i think it's time to cut it out and yeah they stopped hurting immediately so uh, i was probably depleted on some essential mineral that i really needed 
but I was okay with that. 72 hours for a fast, I think is more than enough. I know some people do entire weeks. Some, I know some people have done a 30 day fast, which is insane. But for me right now, three days, I think it's more than enough. I'll start to work my way up to five days or seven days. I'm actually kind of curious to see how long I can go without any food. But for right now, I think this is gonna be good. Also, something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about was that snake juice. I definitely started using that snake juice and I think it did wonders. Uh, my mood isn't as terrible as it was anymore. And especially for three days without food, the first day I kind of sucked. But then after that, my mood got pretty good. I was really surprised. I was a little low energy in the mornings, but as soon as the sun started to come out, everything, all that got fixed. I don't know if any, anything like that had something to do with it, like the sun coming out and the ambient or whatever, but it, it as soon as the sun started to come out, it was kind of weird. Like I started to feel a lot better. So don't know what the hell's happening with that, but I felt great in these past three days of fasting. I think the snake juice definitely did its magic. I didn't feel as depleted. I felt like I had a lot more energy. I didn't have an excessive amount of energy, but I definitely felt like I was okay. I wasn't feeling terrible at all, but I was doing great. Like I was doing perfect for what I was doing. I know I'm fasting. I know I'm depleting my body. I know I'm actually letting my body <laughs> basically eat itself. So I'm okay with all that. Potassium, the sodium and the magnesium really, really contributed to my mood. It, I don't get any more mood swings anymore. It does feel a lot better. So we are closing off the end of the week at the exact same weight, guys. The plan was to go ahead and keep on doing 48 hours, but a couple of things came up and I had to just do 24 hours straight, 24 hours straight. So that kind of sucked. But the good thing is that I tried... Airplane. But the good thing is that I was able to try those 72 hours and I was super stoked with the results, guys. Like literally that, that video, this video cannot depict like how happy I was. Um, break the 180 was, was great for me, getting into that 179. So as far as what's gonna be happening next week, I think I'm gonna do um, 48 hour fasts only. Um, for the entire week and let's see how that goes. I've been seeing a couple of more videos of people's results and I think the 48 hour mark, it's like the sweet spot. It's right in between um, the 24 hours, which I know a lot of people actually plateau on. They report like they plateau on the 24 hours, the one meal a day. And for some people, it, it even works perfect, especially if they're doing exercise. But when they're not doing exercise, they kind of plateau. This is my case. So I believe I'm gonna have to do 48 hours and 72 hours, although it wasn't bad, um, it sometimes got really hard with my spouse, you know? My girlfriend, she wants to eat sometimes. She wants me to take her to like go get some food and some stuff. And whatever life I'm implementing on myself, um, I'm kind of indirectly doing it on her. So seven, 48 hours, I think it's right in between. It's, it's a good amount of time where I can actually sit down and eat with her and at the same time, um, not going super overboard with the whole fasting thing. Which, again, as I mentioned, I know there's people that do um, entire weeks, 30 days, and there's even one case reported with Dr. Rhonda Patrick where there was 100, 365 days um, where the guy just fasted, given the guy had a lot of weight to lose, but if that gives you an idea of how powerful this is, I mean, sure he was getting IVs and stuff like that, but I mean, still 365 days guys that's impressive as hell so i'm again i'm super stoked even that i just hit that 179 mark and we'll, i'm going to be doing 48 hours fast for all of next week for today we're going to leave it here guys but i'm super stoked i'm super happy again i know i keep on saying that but in any case guys thanks for joining me in another episode of sage experience if you guys like this video please go ahead comment like and subscribe you guys know the deal push that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and push that notification bell for sure that way you guys get notified every time i come up with a video such as this and if you guys didn't like the video well just press that like button twice hey <laughs> but super excited what next week entails for me so i'll leave it right here guys zay out Peace.